I ate them. <laughs> That's right. I ate the divorce papers, Charles. I ate them with ketchup and they were good. <laughs> you probably want me to be serious about our divorce, but the thing is, you've always called our marriage a joke. So let's use logic here. If A, we've never had a serious marriage, then B, we can't have a serious divorce. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. The whole thing is a farce, Charles. A farce that tastes good with ketchup. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it last week your dad asked you the reason you walked down the aisle with me and you said, for the exercise? <laughs> That's funny. Like, you're a funny guy, Charles. And I'm laughing, not crying. And I'm laughing because you're about to give up on a woman who is infinitely lovable. For instance, Paul. Paul has loved me since the eighth grade. And sure, he's a little creepy, but he really loves me. He's made 127 passes at me, proposed to me 47 times, and he's written me over 200 original love sonnets. He sees something in me, Charles, and he writes it down in metered verse. And that's not something you just find every day. Someone who loves everything about who you are as a person. <laughs> I mean, sure, he's insane, but I value his feelings for me. And I would never ask him to sign a piece of paper just promising to turn off his feelings for me forever. But that's what you're asking me to do for you. To sign away my right to... To that sweet voice, Charles, those baby brown eyes and the way you feel through my hair before bed, those are things that I don't want to lose. I won't lose them. I won't lose you. I'll woo you. I've written you a sonnet. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May and <laughs> I'm laughing, not crying. This is all just a big joke. It's all very funny. <laughs> I keep waiting for you to say April Fools and then I'll rush into your arms and... <laughs> but you're not going to say that, are you? <laughs> of course not. It's not even April. I didn't even write that sonnet. Paul did. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> you see, the truth, the truth is, Charles, I ate the divorce papers. I ate them because I can't stomach the thought of losing you. <laughs> <laughs> 